Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the admixtures in concrete. That why we use admixtures in concrete and what are the benefits of the admixtures in concrete. We know that concrete is one of the most used construction material on the earth. So the concrete has some basic components. One is the cement and then the water and, and fine aggregate is also used in the concrete fine aggregate and coarse aggregate is also the component of the concrete and we also use sometimes admixtures in concrete now what are the advantages by using admixtures in the concrete so here I will mention some of their advantages the first one is that they increase the they increase the strength of the concrete admixtures are used to increase the strength of concrete this is one of the main properties of the mineral admixture there are two types of the admixture one is chemical admixture one is the mineral admixture this property is mostly related to the mineral type of admixtures that they increase the strength of the concrete the second property is that they are used to increase the workability of concrete so they have high workability the concrete usually have most mostly high workability by using the admixtures so the type of admixture used in order to increase the workability of the concrete is the chemical admixtures The other property is, the third one is, so some of the admixtures are also used to reduce the water content in the concrete, reducing the water in concrete. So there are also some admixtures that reduce the water in the concrete. For example, if we pour the concrete in beam, for example, this is in a beam, and we pour the concrete in the beam, and there is too much water in this concrete so what we do we also put some admixtures that reduces the water in this concrete member so there are also some admixtures that reduces the water in the concrete the fourth one is that they are also used to increase the increase the sitting time of concrete increase the sitting time of concrete what does this mean it means for example that we have concrete that can achieve the strength in 50 minutes so when we pour some of the admixtures in the concrete then it increases the sitting time of the concrete it means that now the concrete can be hardened in 80 minutes or maybe 90 minutes depending on the type of the admixture so they basically increase the sitting time of the concrete because sometimes we need to delay the hydration process in the concrete so that's why we put the admixtures in order to increase the sitting time of the concrete in the similar way there are also some of the admixtures that uses to decrease the sitting time of the concrete decreases the sitting time of concrete for example if the sitting time of the concrete is 40 minutes let's take an example then if we put such type of admixture that decreases the sitting time then it makes it 20 minutes for example so it decreases the sitting time of the concrete so now we achieve our strength early at 20 minutes before it was 40 minutes so they are also used to decrease the setting time of the concrete and there are also some of the admixtures number six if i use here so they are also used some of the admixtures that try to avoid the freezing and thawing action in concrete freezing and thawing action in concrete especially in cold areas in concrete especially in cold areas such type of admixtures are used 
to avoid the freezing and thawing action in concrete. So for this, we also use special type of admixtures that helps to prevent the freezing and thawing action in the concrete. And it makes concrete more durable and workable and also achieve the specific strength of the concrete by using such type of admixtures. So admixtures has different purposes. For example, the strength of the concrete, the workability of the concrete by changing the water content in the concrete, increasing and decreasing the sitting time of the concrete, and also changing the or avoiding the freezing and thawing action in the concrete. I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for DDC1 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.